if you have thinning hair, it'll just beef it up a little bit, give you a little bit more self-confidence, look a little bit better in pictures or in YouTube videos, and let me know in the comments what do you think. I think it's worth the money. Guess what I'm going to talk about today? Hair fillers. Yep, hair fillers. So before I get started, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to my subscriber who recommended this product to me. I had never heard of it. I had heard of other products similar to it, but I do want to say thank you. Thanks for the find. I did purchase this product with my own funds. This is not a sponsored video. So here it is. True Hairs color and lift. Now, this is not my first time uh, using fillers. I've also in the past used Topic. And I have also used Kaboki. In case you have never heard of them, I'll drop some links below. And however, I will not be reviewing these two products today. I do like them, but when I found this particular one, I felt like it just took it to the next level. And so before I get to showing you the actual product, big disclaimer, just want to let you know that they make a lot of claims about these products and I have found them all to be true so far, meaning it stays in your hair, it's waterproof, uh, it won't drip down your face if you're sweating or working out. It won't rub off on your pillow. I haven't had any of those things happen to me, but who knows? In an imperfect world, it could happen to you. So always, buyer beware. These are product claims, and but I do, as I said, I have not, I have not had any of those issues for myself. So, what makes this product different. What makes this product, in my opinion, special is how you apply it and also what it is. Now, very quickly, I want to tell you, if you do purchase this, do not open it down here. All the product is going to spill right out. This stays sealed and gets opened up only if you want to refill it. <laughs> Word to the wise. So, how you open it is you take off the top, and then you can see a retractable brush. And in this brush, you could see, hopefully you could see, that there is, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hole, and attached to that hole is a tube, and that tube goes all the way down to the product. So what you do, and I'll show you that in a minute, is you're going to part your hair and then you're going to brush this on. Whereas the other products that I have, the Kaboki, looks like that. And this was, by the way, this was a trial pack that I got, but it was still a good amount of powder, which I really appreciated. But this one has the shaker type top, which was fine. I used it. I, I liked it. And then the other one that many of you are probably familiar with is the Topic. And that one, again, has the shaker top. And this is the full size of uh, 0.42 ounces. It looks like you're getting a lot because it's in a great big, you know, marketing. Okay. So... Here's how you do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you a few places on my scalp that you'll hopefully see a big difference between the before and the after. So I think I've only got one clip in my hair. Yep. So what you're going to do is just give your hair a good, just brush it through. Make sure there's no tangles. Yes, I know my hair needs a good shaping. I haven't been to the, I have not been to the salon in I don't even probably 
my goodness, a year and a half. So, um, all right. So just go on in and wherever you feel you need a fill. For me, um, I have the dreaded pink scalp. So I think that would be a good spot to show you the the excellent coverage that this gives. So hopefully you can see there how pink I am. I'm looking in my monitor and I did get a little bit of sun so it's possible my scalp might be a little beiger than it normally is but believe me normally it's pink and that drives me crazy. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the product, as I said, you're going to make sure the brush is out, and then I just like to get it started. Now, I don't know if you can see. I can see it in my monitor, but see how my hand is turning a little white there? Well, that is going into your scalp. It's going to lay flat on your scalp, and it's going to integrate with your hair fiber. It's called Micronized Powder. I'm not sure what that means. Micro means to me small. I mean, we could do it, Google it and all that. But they did have a graphic which showed how it looks in your hair. And it basically looks like little feathers, teeny tiny microscopic feathers. And they, they have, well, the, the feathers, they have little branches and they grab onto your own hair. And they really do. So you're just going to tip it over. As I said, you get it, you've already started on your hand. And then you're going to tap and pull. You're just going to brush it through, basically. And it doesn't come out really fast. It comes out nice and slow. And hopefully you can see that. And you can brush it. And the nice thing is it acts as a hair thickener. So uh, I've already put it in a couple of days ago. And it didn't really brush out. I mean, I know they're in there. I know that those little fibers are in there. So let me take this piece. I'll have to look in my monitor because it's a better angle. And hopefully you can see that. And now I'm just smooshing it around. Give it a good tap. You're not going to hurt the bristles. And I think that you can see, and even back here where I have, this is really my problem area because it's very thin here. And unless I wash my hair every day, that's just going to like get stuck to the back of my, my head. And then, you know, whatever scalp is there, it shows even, even more. So maybe I could do this piece for you so you could see how dramatic it is. And make sure your brush is all the way up. A good shake. So you can see it's not quite as pink as it was. Now, there's another area of my hair that's always problematic, and that's right here in the front. So I'm going to take that, just that spot, right above the widow's peak and you could see that's fairly pink there too and it usually stays pink because I usually wear a hat in the sun okay so here we go so we're looking for 
for it to go from pink to not so pink. It's never going to go pure white. I mean, but I suppose if you sat here for 20 minutes and just kept dumping the filler on it, but I can see the difference already. And it's not powder all over my face. So then you're just going to take it and brush it through. At the time that I filmed this review, this product is selling on Amazon for $26. And I think I paid about that much for it. The refill is $18. Um, lots of while. I mean, this I've had this, I've had this for a while, a couple of months now, and I don't use it every day. I use it like for a special occasion, and they even have some fun colors. So I may get myself some sky blue, and just put a little piece in back there, just for fun. Um, but I do really like this product. Uh, as I said, I think, I think the standout is the fact that they have this swell brush and I cannot see any powder there on my hairline. You probably can't either. And it does thicken up your hair a little bit. Actually right at the root, just like the product says, it's going to give you color and lift at the root. And as you brush it through, it's going to give you some additional volume. Thumbs up, positive review of True Hair's Color and Lift. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Take good care. God bless you. Bye.